Okay, hi Mitya. Hi Matt, uh, hi. how's it going? I'm very well, yeah, uh, day one of Superbooth. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of really interesting things. Yeah, we just started and we still have some energy, right? We do, just, <laughs> just. Um, but I did want to come by and see you. So this is Crosspatch, this is your company. Exactly. And we've been in contact a couple of times. You've sent me things, which has been really interesting. And um, you're going to show us uh, at the trigger pad yes, that you've been exactly. working on for some time. Yeah, uh, actually it was uh, first released last year and uh, now I'm showing updates. Uh, so the latest update was focused on, uh, on grooves, uh, yeah. on dynamic grooves and on time grooves. So uh, very complex uh, swing types, uh, possibilities and uh, of course uh, uh, dynamics. Uh, so you can apply uh, grooves like the way we know them from other dolls. Yeah. Uh, but with a slight twist maybe because you can decide how m much these grooves are stretched over your uh, over your patterns. Okay. So Interesting. So actually just first we'll just look at the hardware. So this this is it here, isn't it? Exactly. Um, yeah. Which allows us to interface. So this it's eight output, you've got a reset in, reset out, out. clock in and clock out. Exactly. And, and then you've got the USB which allows you to connect it to well, yes. these kind of uh, the launch pads and APCs and things. Exactly. So you can use uh, any um, launch pad that it's class compliant, uh, and the module will connect to to it, show all the features, and uh, you can use also uh, Akai's uh, APC Mini Mark okay. II or the uh, even the Mark One. And it's just literally plug it, plug it in. Plug in and Nothing. play. The yeah. module detects what's connected, and then yeah. uh, adjust all the all the features. Uh, actually, I can show you immediately that uh, when there is a when there is a, a, a Nakai APC Mini connected with faders, you can it detects all the faders, and you can use them immediately. And then oh. okay. so it's a. Uh, it's so that's really interesting because so I was expecting this to set. So this is sending out gates. Is that correct? And yeah. then this was sending out some CV. Exactly. So okay. uh, actually, this is not sending anything, but uh, <laughs> it's more receiving the the information from the module. Yeah. Uh, because so if I even if I if I unplug it from the module, it will. Uh, so there is no APC connected, yeah. and it it runs on uh, because the brain is in the module, and this is just the interface. So. Um, what is uh, getting from the uh, APC Mini is, yes, CC MIDI over USB, and it's uh, translating it into features like uh, uh, either amplitude of the, of the trigger, this is the master, for example, by, by default. Okay. But you could map, map it uh, any channel, every channel you can map to a different uh, feature. For example, you could just hold the, the swing and then map it to a, a swing and have a swing on one one uh, channel okay. and so on. Cool. But uh, yeah, this is possible uh, because also you use, uh, in this case, we are using uh, it with uh, uh, long triggers. Actually, these are gates, dynamic gates. Okay. And then you're able to make a uh, uh, staircase modulation. Okay. But uh, yeah, let's focus on the update that uh, sure. really uh, adds another level of, uh, of dynamics to, to the um, to the f to the possibilities of uh, uh, of drumming. Okay. So here we have uh, the trigger pad uh, uh, triggering uh, six mod six, and also uh, a Ramona bass drum. Okay. And uh, what we have is uh, adding dynamics. I, is it uh, loud enough? Yeah, that's fine. So uh, we can add some then so some. Uh, uh, dynamics. This is the so-called grooves. You can uh, increase the amount of of um, dynamic range. I see. Okay. Up to an extreme where uh, triggers are cut off, and then we can change the length of this. As I mentioned before, the yeah. length of this groove. So, so we can have something like something like triplets. Oh, interesting. And this is just by uh, applying different, um, uh, yeah, different uh, 
ducking uh, on on uh, every channel on every step. Wow! So it's and it can be used as a performing performing tool. Yeah, that's the thing I get from this is that it's really kind of performative. Yeah, and so this is uh, this was the the, the the automation of the dyn dynamics. But uh, we have also a humanizer, which is a bit more subtle. Uh, this uh, adds a small micro uh, timing changes in the hits, so they are not happening exactly at the same time, mimicking a bit like the left and right hand. Yeah. And uh, also adding a bit of dynamic uh, variations uh, to, to, the, to the pattern. Okay. And again, we have this possibility of changing uh, how fast this uh, these uh, modulations of, uh, of, uh, of timing uh, are happening. Yeah. Uh, another very interesting, I think uh, I, will, I will just for the sake of demonstration, I will go a bit uh, slower. Uh, so I'm now at 80 and this is uh, best to show uh, the modulation of the internal clock. So it's uh, actually uh, called swing, uh, but it's more than, it's, it's very, it can get very complex. So, as usual, we have a 16-step, 16-note uh, uh, swing, yeah. the sh typical shuffle, and then uh, we can uh, also change it to 8-note uh, swing, and then we have, so this is the length, and then we can also do something in between. Wow. And, uh, and this will, will uh, allow you to create something more uh, groovy, maybe uh, atypical, definitely something that you're not used to hear from a drum machine. Kind of glitchy, in a way, IDM. Could could sort of be. Stuff. I think it's uh, the, the the closest uh, connection could be to something like the uh, the, the Dilla uh, rhythms and uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, these drunken beats maybe yeah. <laughs> because it actually it's really. We're not so used to it, so it's really unusual uh, for the ear to, to hear this. But yeah. uh, now I'm putting some extreme values. But if you go s on uh, on uh, like 20 percent, it just adds this this nice feel that make makes your head nod. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. Yeah, yeah. So it's good because even though it kind of feels like semi erratic and a bit random, it, it's still got a groove. Yeah, it's actually um, modulating the BPM uh, at, a, at a certain pace. So right. this is, you set the length of these variations and then uh, every eight steps it resets. So it keeps the musicality, some re repetition that uh, uh, allows you to take in actually this imperfect uh, change of tempo. Right, cool. Yeah, uh, there is also a ducking matrix. So this is, uh, let me just uh, set this back to what it was. So BPM back to, I don't know, 130. So just to be clear, the, the ducking is triggers ducking one track from another. Exactly. Yeah. So the... So the when one trigger occurs, another it won't occur on another track kind of exactly. thing. Exactly, and we have a matrix for right. that. Perfect. And so let's... Uh, Turn this back on. So we will have a ducking matrix, which uh, you know the the typical use would be just like a linear drumming. So one sound at a time. Yeah. So we have shortcuts that allows us on, on the diagonal that allows us to to quickly dial in these things. But uh, so let me just actually I will put a, a, a very simple just for the demonstration. Yeah. yeah okay. A very simple. Uh, so we hear a uh, drum roll and a kick, and uh, we will put now uh, on the, the ducking matrix, I will uh, set the kick to duck, actually now it's choking, oh. it's choking the, the snare, yeah. right? And now while I hold it, I can set the amount of how much it <laughs> how much it will duck. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a side chain but applied side chain to compression and but applied to triggers. Yeah yeah applied so before to before the, the, the sound happens. Yeah. So That's ace. So and uh, you can even uh, use uh, like uh, it's also here I focused on a quick uh, quick uh, access to, 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 to this feature. You can hold the channel 
and you can apply diff for for example for the first channel for the kick drum you can say okay the let's duck uh, completely the snare but uh, the hi hat a bit less the uh, open hi hat even uh, so it's, you know it's just uh, at a glance you can uh, set uh, the levels of ducking for all the other channels so that's cool man i didn't know this was a thing and actually you know thinking about it i suppose it could be why is it why not you know yeah. Um, and any side chaining and ducking that I've done is typically done with a compressor and a side chain input. But here we're actually using it before any of that kind of processing occurs. Yeah, it's it, cool. It, again, it could be used as a performing tool because it uh, dilutes the the the, the hits. Mm. So it gives more clarity, maybe, or just adds the dynamic in a different way. Yeah. So it's it's going to be different with uh, every pattern because. Uh, yeah obvious really, reasons really cool man really interesting uh, yeah these are the main uh, things yeah. but uh, as uh, so this is on a free update that you can this is a free update yeah. uh, and it's will it's, it's available yeah. uh, I'm making really a lot of updates lately maybe one per month uh, and uh, you know there are also the let's say the old updates uh, uh, the previous updates that allow you to use uh, uh, the MIDI outputs of the launch pads that uh, have a MIDI output. Yeah. So you can uh, trigger, you can trigger, um, you can trigger samples, for example, from a from a rompler. Ah. Uh, and uh, you can layer the sounds of uh, of samples with uh, with uh, analog gear and stuff like this. So. Brilliant. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Really, really interesting stuff. That. Um, yeah, can't wait to have more of a play. Yeah, thanks for sharing this. And uh, thanks for stopping by and yeah, no uh, yeah enjoy the rest of Superboot also. Thanks man, you too. Thanks, bye. Bye.